Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new series of Survival Challenge. But this is a bit different to the previous series because this is Survival Challenge Co-op. So yeah, it's me and Chainsaw on the same team working from nothing. You can see we've got literally nothing in the bank account to, well, goodness knows, maybe maybe something ridiculous like £20 million, pounds, but we'll, we'll soon find out. Um, well, it might be a year, but anyway, <laughs> depends how long the series is. Yes, we start off with uh, nothing in the bank, but we do have a chainsaw. Uh, I've got chainsaw 100, is there as well. Uh, we've got two trailers. It's basically two identical setups, uh, two Zeta tractors with the front loader and the pallet forks. So, essentially, we need to make money uh, to, to be able to buy equipment, cultivators, drills, that sort of stuff. And to do that, we're going to have to cut down trees. And we own plot number 23. You can see this sort of brownie orange area is trees, that's what we own. And we do actually start off with some grassland as well. So that could be cut or cultivated up uh, further down the line to start making money from arable crops. So let us jump into the tractors. Um, I believe Chainsaw is going to be uh, following as well. We're going to do the same thing to begin with because there's literally only one job that we can do. There we go, he's getting in. And we're going to have to leave here. So, the plot is this way. We're going to have to go over the bridge. Yeah, just going through other people's land at the moment, but we're going to have to, to get to the store. And I do find that this map is very similar uh, in, in its sort of design as No Man's Land. It's definitely set up to be a survival map. Once we get over the brow of this hill, we'll be onto our own property. So, yeah, I don't know exactly where the boundary is, but it might be about here, actually. Yeah, everything you see in front of us is likely ours. So that's a nice little starting area. Uh, we're going to have to cross the bridge initially. I think I think it's probably best to start in the forest over there, instead of cutting down the trees on this side. But this is the grassland. We don't own all of it, but we own some of it. And here we go, over the bridge. Right, so there are a few rocks over here, but essentially we just need to get wood, lengths of wood, put onto the trailers using the pallet forks, there's no super strength, and all of the previous rules apply, uh, although you are allowed a worker if you're in a, in a field. Uh, so yeah, we just need to cut these down, chop them up, put them onto there, and take them to the sawmill, which I'm guessing, yes, is in this complex there. First one I clicked on, that was good luck. <laughs> so yeah, here's chainsaw. I don't think there's any point at all in waiting around, so we'll just start chopping. But it will be time-lapsed. And, well, wood actually is worth quite a decent amount. So, hopefully, we won't have to do too much, and there's two of us doing it, before we can buy the first piece of equipment, a cultivator. We do have all of the mods from the previous series still enabled, and there were loads, loads and loads that we never even used. So, yeah, there's still plenty to choose from. Right. Of course, they need to fit onto the trailer. Not having super strength is a bit of an issue, but it would be too easy. There we go. Right. I think, as well, as soon as we've sold some, it might be good to try and invest in a log grab, because the pallet fork is probably quite difficult. Oh, and probably a rear weight as well could be quite beneficial. Oh wow, that's a good length, I hope I don't drop it, and yeah, actually it's far too long for the trailer. But don't worry, it is just the first few episodes where we're going to be doing this, we're not just going to do logging every episode, and that is the benefit of having two of us doing it, because it means we can just get things done really quickly, and hopefully progress much faster. Right, that is at risk of rolling off, so we'll just strap it quickly. And we'll get the next one. In fact, I'm now just going to uh, pick up the ones that I just cut. And then we can go for tree number two. And that is, of course, if I can actually find the tree that I just cut. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, Chainsaw's felled a tree on top of my head. Nice.
well I just need a grab can't really do it with a pallet fork it's just too difficult so hopefully we do have enough money here money's worth of wood to be able to get the grab and if it means selling the pallet fork it doesn't really matter um, but it would be good just to buy the grab so we'll see no renting of course no renting allowed so here we are over at the sawmill and yeah we just basically like any sawmill put the wood into the trigger and press the button there we go All right 2,631 pounds. No idea at all how much they cost. Uh, no, not front loaded, front loaded tools. Uh, we might actually have a modded one, like the MX one, potentially. Do MX do one? They have grapples. Uh, there is that one there. Yeah, I think in that case then we will just we'll sell the pallet fork. And we'll just buy the uh, the grab instead. We're going to make lots of money eventually. £1,293. That's very good. Okay. So, all of that money which has been made so far has been from me. So I shall use it. But it's going to benefit the team. And we're still left with 905 So that's not bad. Hopefully this time we can get loads more onto the trailer. It'll be worthwhile. Brilliant. So yeah, just open it up like that. That should be so much better. Being able to grab, it's like when you have an excavator with a thumb, it just makes everything so much easier. So back to the forest. We'll put the trees on, which I've already cut down, unless chainsaws already processed them. And then we can move on to some more trees. Keep chopping until we have a full load. pretty good. Uh, we have two more from this tree, a big tree that just came down, and I noticed that Chainsaw was still wearing the tree, the other tree that got felled. But that's actually not a bad thing, because it means he's been able to transport it to the sawmill, just between the tractor's cab and the front loader. Bit of an unusual way of doing it, but it will still work, it will still sell, and we'll get the money for it. So actually, has he just sold? Oh, maybe I missed it, maybe he sold and bought, did he buy the grab? Because 2,000 pounds doesn't sound enough for what he just took. Yeah, he must have bought the grab, I guess. Uh, I was just busy focusing on this wood. As soon as you get past this point, it just starts to uh, yeah roll. I guess I shouldn't have put the big one on. I think we'll take down this little tree here. Should be an easy one. But yeah, it'd be a good idea to not buy dead weight, essentially. Uh, so instead of buying a rear weight, we just buy an implement and then we could use that as a rear weight. A cultivator would be great because we've, we, like I said, we've got grassland over there. It's not very good grassland. We could get a mower but then we'd have to get other stuff as well like windrowers and loading wagons and all that sort of stuff. It might be best just to cultivate up what we've got and get a crop in but of course we then need to get a, a combine harvester or something like that uh, depending on what crop it is and, uh, and harvest that. So whatever we do it's going to require money and more than just the initial money that we make. Right, if I can grab that, let me just cut it here. Typical. Did he buy a grab? Yeah, he did. But we'll be heading off in just a second with, well, I guess you could call it load number two, not, not really load number two, but we do need to put something on the back clearly because it is just a little bit too light. There's also not much space for us to both work here. Oh. If 
if he put his <laughs> if he put his front loader on my cab, he could push down on the back while I lift up. Oh, right, that should do it. Yep. A <laughs> uh, little bit more. A little bit more. I'm hoping it's not going to roll fully off over the other side. The thing is, I have to take the fork out before we strap, otherwise it would just get stuck. But there we go. Alright. So, actually, now that we've done that, we can put another one in the middle. So, well, we've got a little one here, I guess. That'll be fine. It's amazing how much difference it, ha it makes having a, a grab. Yeah, so I think I am going to buy a cultivator. But I will have to speak to Chainsaw. It depends as well which cultivators are on offer. I don't know exactly what we have. So we don't need to wait. We just need another player to push down on the back. <laughs> it works. Oh, that's a little bit too heavy. Oh. That is right on my limit. Longer than I thought. Crikey. We'll slide it in. Slide it under there. Nice. Good. Well, I think we have a decent load. That should get us a long way. Oh, if I can actually attach to it. It's a little close. Oh, no. Well, I'll try my best. Steering is compromised slightly. Forget about the glass in the back window. We didn't need it anyway. Here comes success. Crossing the bridge. It's alright. We will have to just prune it. I am pruning my trailer. As you do. I'll just slide those under there. That should help a bit. Sorted. Genius at work. Can't believe it, I lost one just there. Still strapped, but it fell off. Right. Well, six, uh, four and a half thousand, but as I said, there is one which escaped. You must have seen the cell point. I thought, no, I'm not going to go into there. Well, I'm afraid, yes, you are. Log. Yeah. <laughs> You are not going to survive. You're going to be turned into some... I don't know, a plank or something. That was the most adventurous thing I could think of. One day you'll become a beautiful piece of furniture. Or firewood. Either way, you'll be useful. Or maybe you'll be part of a house structure. Oh, what? Oh, there we go. 7246. So, yeah, let me just quickly uh, check, first of all, what we've actually got available in the cultivator category, uh, which is just here. But we might be able to actually get a disc harrow instead. Okay, it looks like <laughs> for the mods, we didn't really have many mods available for cultivators and disc harrows. Interesting. That probably is what we'll go for. We're not there yet. Is that a... hang on. I've never used that. That'd be a great rear weight though. <laughs> it's cheap as well. That's for the micro tractors. Yeah, it probably wouldn't fit this. So, no, we're just going to have to go back this time around and get a bit more wood. But with two of us doing this, we should soon achieve something. Now we should be able to get a cultivator today. Certainly. Back over the bridge. I really don't know where the best place is to position because we're always in each other's way. I would get the wood from the back there, ideally. But then we have stumps. There's stumps everywhere as well. 
and we're definitely not buying a stump grinder at this stage. We'll have to eventually, because this will one day become a field. Yeah, if I just fell this across there, to the left. That's alright. Oh! Ow. That was kind of painful. Virtual pain. You can't beat it. Right, well, I think you get the idea. Uh, we're just going to have to keep logging them up, loading them up, and bringing in the money. So there is that one. Put that there. Right, good. Chop, chop. There goes Chainsaw. Tackling with the stumps. Okay, let's load. Okay, so <laughs> I was just continuing to load off camera and we've got ourselves into a bit of a sticky situation. As I mentioned before, if you strap, when it's still got the tines too close, it will get stuck. And I'm trying to pull forward to prevent this um, fr from pulling when I, when I remove the strap, but I can't pull forward, it's just not moving. It keeps pulling back even though I'm driving forward. So, well, hopefully just let's go of it. This could be an anti-climax, I hope it is, if I can even get the strap. Oh, what? So despite only strapping that front one, it's still latched onto the other two. Great. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, this is so bad. I'm driving forwards. Why is it doing this? Oh. Did we lose any? Phew. Well, I can't risk any more. Uh, I would say we're pretty much full, so let's go and take this load. Yeah, that was close. That is a good load, though. And we've got a few sticks trying to skewer bits of my window. I feel not going to bother us too much. Right, there we go. Very good. Here comes Chainsaw. We can both cross the bridge at the same time. Actually, it'd be very interesting to see who's has got more on. I think he's gone for more of the thinner trees, so I might have more money's worth. We will soon find out. But, yes, obviously episode number one was going to be tree felling and moving trees. But hopefully this has now set us up for a different episode number two, where we can not only do trees, uh, if we can do some other stuff as well, like preparing fields. We're just going to have to see how much we've got. But with two of us now about to sell full loads, this should be a good step in the right direction. And eventually we'll have to get a stump grinder and remove those stumps. But I don't think it's really a priority when we own open land. 
Not much open land, but we do have open land. Can we get up the hill? Maybe not. It is pretty heavy. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, I don't think we'll lose any this time, at least. Yeah, it's a good load. Very heavy load. So, let me try and get my figure first before Chainsaw. I've got 10,290 pounds. Wow. Yeah, that is good. That is definitely going to be a great help for next time. And Chainsaw's 8,000 maybe? Ah, oh, 7,000. So, yeah. Um, not bad. Like, Chainsaw might be going to get another load, I'm not too sure. But, as it stands, 29,332 pounds. That really is very, very good indeed. So, we'll chat to each other between this episode and the next one, see what the best thing to do is next, see what machine is best to buy. Obviously, please do comment down below as well, give us your suggestions, and we'll go from there. But, yeah, not a bad starting episode. A little bit repetitive, but it was bound to be. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you want to see Chainsaw's video, the link is down below. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.